I work with my students. I have them in front of the class a lot because I want them to be communicators. I want them to have the skill of presenting in front of other people with the eye contact, with the voice. And I find that our students, when they leave our school and they go on to university, a lot of them come back and they're flourishing because they've learned how to communicate. They're not people that will sit back. They're people that will stand up, that will be able to have a voice in what situation they're in. Our students have learned how to be communicators. And so they will seek out kids. They will join the clubs because here they have to. When I got into college, I was actually surprised that I was very well prepared. I never struggled when I was in any of the classes. I knew, one, how to ask for help, which is such an amazing you know, skill of advocacy uh, that I think I was taught at Cedar Park. You know, in math, I was very prepared in reading and writing. I think the kind of material that we looked at was much higher than in some of the public schools. And it was hard when you're in high school, you feel like they're really challenging you, but you're growing every day, you know, and then you go to school and you realize, well, maybe you don't have a 100%, you know, or A's and everything, but you have a work ethic and you have um, a know-how of how to truly study and prepare. Uh, so as a mom of a student at Cedar Park, one of my hopes is that the foundation that we've built at home, uh, her Christian worldview, knowledge of the Bible will be applied not only in her everyday life, but in the subjects that she's learning at school. One of the things that I see working in the public schools for many years is that students, they'll learn a concept and be tested on it. However, they don't go beyond thinking about how they can apply that concept in their lives, not only in things they do every day, but also in their spiritual lives. Personally, a couple of teachers have made an impact on my life. They kind of are very personable, and I know I can talk to them about anything. And I have before gone to advice for stuff going on in my life. So they're always there for you and very encouraging. Um, in terms of academics in general, I do feel like Cedar Park was really good with preparing me for that. I, last year, I won an award for having the highest academic standing at the University of Washington. and that could not have been possible without Cedar Park. I was literally in Cedar Park from the age of three to when I graduated high school. So there's nobody else that I could um, credit for, for that kind of development. And I really appreciate that aspect of it.